Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I am out here at Heswell Golf Club. I'm out on the course to test waterproofs and the sun comes out. It's ironic, isn't it? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to test uh, for a number of different elements of how this waterproof that I'm wearing, Juice Clothing. I'm not sure whether you're familiar with this brand and I'll give you a little bit of background as to where this derives from, but it's not one that I'm overly familiar with. A lot of association with uh, sort of snowboarding, um, skiing, that type of clothing. But they've brought out a range of clothing for the golf industry. And one of the things that uh, I've looked at very, very recently was the waterproofs. Uh, they caught my eye, seen somebody wearing them, and uh, they've sent me a set. We've got the jacket on now, got the trousers as well. I'm going to take a real close look at how they perform in the elements, obviously in, in, in the rain and whatever else. Can't do that right now. But the first thing I want to have you look at is how these things fit, because... They are by far the best fitting set of trousers. The jacket's superb, but the trousers in particular are really, really well put together. And it's how they fit uh, you personally, which I really, really like. So have a look at this video now, and there's a couple of things you need to have a look at. First of all is the length of this zip that comes up way sort of three quarters up the leg. Nice and easy to get your, uh, we all know how difficult it is. It's pouring down with rain, a rainstorm comes, and then all of a sudden you've got to get your waterproofs on. We all get our shoes stuck in the leg and struggle forever falling over. And that's not the case with these trousers. So I really like that element first of all. Nice Velcro system down at the bottom to get a nice snug fit around your shoe. And again, quite a narrow fit. It's a more modern fit and I particularly like that. But it's a bit around the waistband that is really interesting. They've got a great fit as you put them on. That's absolutely perfect, but they really get nice and snug when you see these Velcro bands around the side. Start to pull them in and just look at the difference it makes to the seal around your waistband. And it really is, like I said, the most comfortable fitting pair of trousers that I've ever put on in terms of waterproofs. They've got a great website as well in, when you're ordering these. Lots of variety in terms of the sizing. They actually have lots of questions in terms of what sort of fit you like. So I suppose that'll be a lot to do with your kind of the age that we are and whether you like a sort of skinnier fit or a, or a baggier pair and they really uh, guide you towards on online ordering and making sure you make the right decision when you're choosing these trousers but now it's on to the jacket the jacket again and the trousers they're very minimal in design it's very very plain there's a number of colors that are available this i've got like i said is very much a jet black suit it's very classy i think in its looks very phil mickelson uh, look about it but again i really like you can tell straight away the quality of this uh, the fabric the quality of the garment and it's a real good fit see the velcro uh, fastening again real tight seam around the wrist area but then the big thing is the movement in this jacket the movement's incredible in a number of ways that we all know again how uncomfortable it can be to wear waterproofs if we had the choice we'd rather not but that's not the case with this jacket Plenty of flexibility within the fabric, which allows for full swing, plenty of movement, no restrictions across the shoulders whatsoever. And again, that's one of the major bonuses. We haven't looked how it performs in the weather yet. This is just all about how this garment fits and how it makes it, like I said, the most comfortable set of waterproofs that I've ever put on. I'm going to end this bit here because the next part of this test we need to find some rain, or at least some water. So we might have needed rain, and we might have needed water, and the UK is almost guaranteed to rain. But as you well know, life isn't as straightforward as that. And the one time I want to do a video review of a set of waterproofs, the UK fails to produce any rain. But I'm not going to be stopped there, because if I'm going to give this my full endorsement, a set of waterproofs, then I need to test if they're waterproof. So an experiment was needed and I needed a little bit of extra kit. So I was off to buy some hose lock water sprayers, set up in our laboratory, and put these juice clothing to the test. Now the first thing you'll notice from this is that, i um, slow this down a little bit, you'll see how the water bounces off, rolls off. It's that kind of fabric again where it doesn't sit and become heavy. So I like that straight away. That's off the trousers you've just seen there. But then when it goes onto the top, you'll see exactly the same sort of thing taking place. The main direction of this water is aimed at the zip. Now the zip is obviously, it's a sealed zip, it's watertight. But if there's gonna be a crack, if we're gonna find a fault in it, then surely it's gonna be in around here. Now, as you can see, when I open the jacket up, you'll see that there's absolutely no water permutated this whatsoever. And I left this running for quite some time. Now, don't get me wrong, you're out on the golf course for four hours and I didn't have that kind of time to sit around and film uh, and it wouldn't have been the most interesting watch either. So we're gonna have to take a little bit in terms of the 
amount of waterproofness we're gonna to have to take the specifications that juice provide but I'm pretty sure that this garment is gonna perform more than adequately out there on the fairways in real conditions another interesting point I want to make is that in the first video that I shot which was out there on the course I made a comment that it was Phil Mickelson like in its looks I filmed that two or three days ago and what I've since found out is that Mickelson is perhaps wearing these waterproofs by his own choice. These images that you show now, although they've got a Callaway logo on the arm, he's got the collar folded under because he won't be getting an endorsement deal. As I understand, he's choosing to wear this product of his own accord. Now for me, that is a massive, massive endorsement of a product if someone like phil mickelson is choosing to wear this kind of kit through choice and not getting paid for it then like i said that's a huge thumbs up in terms of what i can see now i don't know whether that's fact but i've had a little close up on look a couple of the details and i'm pretty sure that that is the exact same waterproof that we've had under test at the moment so the overall thing is this why did i do a review of waterproofs well because I think that it's a key piece of kit. It's a very difficult piece of kit to um, to review in a video format and make it interesting, and I appreciate that. It's not the most interesting reviews, but I really do think that this is a standout product. I think it, it's probably, it is the best set of waterproofs that I have ever tried, tested, reviewed. I did a video on a Galvin Green jacket um, probably 18 months ago, two years ago and said similar things of how good that was, but this is another level again. There is a but in all of this, and um, there always is, uh, with this kind of quality comes a price tag, and they're expensive. I mean, it's uh, 349 for this jacket and 299 for the trousers. We can't ignore that, can't brush over it. It's expensive piece of kit. Is that too much for the average golfer? Well, I always say very much how you spend your money is up to you, but what I will say is this, it's in line, if you buy Galvin Green product, then it falls in line in that price bracket. And it's important that this is a piece of kit that you, it's an investment. It's something that you're gonna stay with you for a number of years. If it's looked after carefully, then it's gonna, it, it's gonna stick with you for a long, long time. So it's a major investment. If you're, a, you know, if you're an all weather golfer, as I am, which is getting out there through the winter months, then this is a key piece of kit, essential piece of kit that you've got to have. And uh, for me, there's nothing better out there on the market. I firmly believe that. I've done all I can in terms of test it as much as I possibly can. The big thing for me is the fit. We expect waterproofs to be waterproof. That's kind of a tick on the box that we, you know, is, is naturally expected. But the fit that I tried to show, and I hope I've done it some kind of justice, is the fit is the big major thing. It's it's the most comfortable piece of fabric. It makes no noise whatsoever. This idea of the flexibility, the seal around the trousers on the waistband, all very much different than what I've ever tried on before personally. So uh, the end of this is quite simple. If you're in the market for a set of waterproofs, if you're considering Galvin Green, then this is a brand that you must consider and try. Uh, it's a new brand on me. I've since found out again, they've got a whole range of product that I don't think is massive in the UK right now, but from polo shirts, sweatshirts, mid layers, trousers, golf bags. So I'm pretty sure we might see a whole lot more of this in, uh, in the years to come. But for now, like I said, apologies if it's a bit of a boring one. This is waterproofs. I did my best with it and uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comments down below. Tell me if you've ever heard of Juice Clothing. Tell me what you think of this garment and uh, I'll see you soon.